Hello friends, this video on surface area and volume part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 14. Let's understand first term. First term is a new concept here. Please focus on this. If you take a cone like this, if you cut with a line horizontal parallel to this uh, base, you get such kind of figure. And this kind of figure is called first term of a cone. Why do we need first term? You see in the real life this glass, if you invert this, this is nothing but a first term. You see this glass, the glass is nothing but a first term. A lot of figures in our real life, the bucket you see, the bucket which we use for filling water, that is also first term. A lot of vessels in our real life is in the form of first term. Or sometimes you see the cap that joker wears is also First term, you put something, this is first term. The night lamp you see, a lot of places, this is also if you see in the form of first term. This is the lamp, then you have some wire. So there are so many figures in our real life that is in the form of first term. So we should learn first term also. Correct? For first term, how to get the first term? You take a cone, this horizontal line, cut it, you get first term. Now for first term, these are some of the formulas that you have to learn actually. To find the volume and see the in the first step in the conventions actually, this is R2. The bigger radius is the R1 because there are two circles now here. If you see right, one circle is this circle, which has one radius, and one circle is the bigger circle, and this guy also has a radius. So bigger circle by convention is called R1, the smaller one is called R2, the height of the first one is H, and the slant height of the first one is L. This is the typical convention of the first term. So you find the point to want to find the volume of the first term. The volume is 1 by 3 pi h into r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2. That is 1 by 3 pi h into r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2. If you want to find the curve surface area of the first term, that is pi r1 r2 into L, right? In the code it is pi rl. Here it is pi r1 plus r2 into L, where L is nothing but if you see by mathematically also you can find this L, you draw this line here, this guy is H and this guy is nothing but R1 minus R2, right? So this is H is nothing but root of H square, this is H and this is R1 minus R2. So root of H square minus R1 minus R2 square is there. The volume, the curve surface area of first term is pi R2. If you want to find total surface area of the first term, then you have to add this uh, this curve surface area plus this base area pi r1 square and this area this base area pi r2 square. Correct here also L is nothing but h square plus r1 minus r2 square. Just understand this formula. The, the curve surface area of the cone is curve surface area of the first term is pi into r1 plus r2 L and the volume of the first term of the cone is 1 by 3 pi h into r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2. Now let's thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.